All right, the Irish. All right, a chip it up the half ball to Rust. He's body by Coleman. Now Coleman comes away with a fire of the shot. He scores! And oh, it in! And Miami has drawn first blood! Get out of the net a little bit, but a good little board work right here on the side. You can see him just getting himself to the net, shooting the puck, and you can just, the angle right there for the goaltender. I'm not even a goaltender, and I can tell you, you've got to come out of the net right now. He's going down, feeling, getting himself back in the net. Very, very nice shot. Great start for Miami. Ninth on the campaign for the intermission with Shereen Sasky coming up on the other side of the short timeout. Good vision, knows he's in tight, has to pull it back, doesn't try to bury it right back into the goaltender, goes up top, beats him over the shoulder, and those, these big hit goaltenders are the type of goalies that are going to go down the second unit, doing a good job. Lynn jumping up, great job coming back by the senior Vogelhuber, just a terrific back check by 13 and White, and he's finally a free man. Of course, as he said, you know, we can trust these guys each so. Here's Politis with a shot, rebound, they score! Bang down! This is we talked about that line being responsible in both ends. This is why the goal happens. They do a great job coming back on the other side defensively. Break the puck out of the zone. Look at the way the guy drives wide. Middle guy goes in net. Third guy comes in high. Gets a shot on net. There's the rebound sitting right there. Able to tuck it in. But you want to enter the zone exactly that way. First guy goes wide. Second guy drives the net. Clearing out that middle area. Third guy. We're doing the battle. Everybody's standing there watching. You pull that goaltender. You've got to get three guys on the puck. And towards the empty net. They score. Tyler Biggs and company make it 3 nothing. A poor communication right there for Notre Dame. You can see him just scrambling. Nobody battling to get to the puck. Miami does a great job of throwing it down the ice. Notre Dame comes up with breaking it out. Looking to make that cross ice pass. And Tyler Biggs in the right spot. Right there in the middle of the neutral zone. Picks it off. He gets a quick shot coming the other way. But, I mean, you can see, look at Notre Dame. They have all their guys coming out. Nobody's looking for the pass. Tyler Biggs standing right there. Big kind of surprise. Oh, it's on my stick. Got to fire it in. Look at the crowd getting into it. He's done a fine job at the helm of the Irish. We're moving into a new building this season, the Compton Family Center, which seats over, well, seats almost 5,000. And a big hit there by Matt Tomasoni. He just lined up Patrick Gall and nailed him in a shot from the left side. 23. Now in front, right on his shot to score! Riley Smith keeps the goal scoring streak going with a power play score. From Tyler Biggs, the Red Hawks draw first blood at 1 nothing. Number 23 for this guy. He had a sick move in the circle. Credit to Biggs, though. He realizes that it's a two on one down low. Gall, who's in the lineup tonight, didn't play last night. He's late to get down, so you've got the numbers. Just put that on net. And the point streak continues for Biggs. Johnson leaves it up. There's no one marking Smith back door. And Vogelhuber comes away with it with Biggs, and there they go. Vogelhuber over the line. Biggs and McKenzie. Shot, score! <laughs> Miami increases its lead to two to nothing. Secondary scoring. Senior. Need it. Guess what? He's been back-checking phenomenally all weekend. He notices Gersh slips down at the point. The C's part. So take it, Trent. He does. Roofs it. What a shot. 16-48, the time of the goal for Trent Vogelhuber. The Blue Jacket proud to the corner. Hirschfeld back to Schilling. To Cody Murphy. Schilling saves it. Murphy. Shooting. Score! The first career goal for the freshman from Highwood, Illinois, and the Red Hawks. A two-man advantage power play goal restore the two-goal lead at 3-1. to one. A two-man advantage goal, a two-second delay on the celebration. I think he was so surprised it went in. Yeah, celebrate, Cody Murphy. 
That's been about four weeks coming. Cody Murphy has played so hard this most of the first half of the year with the broken leg and just ripped that. Tough angle sniped it. Reminds me of Big Shot a few weeks ago. The period last night. Now Tynan with a turnover. Looks to pass it off. Murphy intercepts. And here comes Cody Murphy. Getting worked over by Tynan. Shot it anyway. Right on. And it's blockered out by Mike Johnson. Again Murphy shoots. Scores! I think that was tipped down low, but regardless, Miami with what could be the knockout punch at 4-1. Well, now the delayed reaction and celebration is allowed because you don't see this go through right away, and that goes off the shoulder of Russo. But Teasling Stick might have got a piece of it. Back to Russo, and the fans come to their feet to salute their Red Hawks. Miami closing the schedule with 9 of 12 at home and doing an outstanding job with it. Swept Alabama Huntsville last weekend. They're going to sweep Notre Dame tonight. This one's a Miami winner.